It is in the area of protection of the rights of the child that Indonesia has concentrated its maximum energy. In the past decade, Indonesia has proved skeptics wrong by running a strong, stable, and vibrant multi-party and multi-ethnic democratic system. It has created a moderate and progressive system and demonstrated that Islam and modernity go hand in hand. We applaud the efforts undertaken by Indonesia to promote religious freedom. It I'd like reference to be made to the achievements and positive nature of these achievements by the Indonesian government. We've noted these achievements and the considerable progress that has been made by the Indonesian government in strengthening and protecting human rights. Mr. President, significant progress has been made to improve the situation of women in Indonesia, and we welcome this. This can be seen in several areas, as has been the case in the political and public life. Uh, the situation of human rights in Indonesia has improved significantly in the recent years. We welcome the achievements and the steps already taken by Indonesia in consolidating the rule of law and promoting human rights. In particular, we commend the measures taken to protect vulnerable groups, especially children. We would like in particular to welcome the efforts made in protecting the rights of women, of children, and also in protecting the right to education and the rights of citizens, whether they're expat residents or not, and of foreign residents in the territory. On the protection of minority, as raised by distinguished delegates from the Netherlands, United Kingdom, and South Korea, the vestiges of authoritarian rule are still alive and functioning, as, as evident in the case of the coordinating body to monitor beliefs within society. This body is led by the junior attorney general in charge of intelligence and includes members from various intelligence units from civilian police and military forces all over the country. This body has become a serious threat to the protection of religious minority rights, including Ahmadiyya as it is, has been accompanied by a wave of violent acts by religious extremist groups, such as the Front of Islam Defenders, who have increased attacks against religious minorities and supporters of religious pluralism over the last eight months. We deeply regret the decision of Indonesian government yesterday, June 9, 2008,
to partially ban Ahmadiyya activities which violate Indonesian constitution, ICCPR. This decision will become the justification for religious extremist group to attack Ahmadiyya followers and pro pluralism groups. Distinguished representative of Egypt has a point of order. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, in consistency with the position of the African group, I don't think that reference to something happened yesterday in Indonesia, in Indonesia is part of the outcome of the UPR that happened one month ago. Thank you. Thank you. Would you, would you uh, continue with your statement, sir? The decision will become the justification for the religious extremism to attack the Ahmadiyya followers and pro pluralism groups. Now we see the whole country at a tipping point with mounting tension, which, which could deteriorate into communal conflict between fundamentalists and pluralist Islam. We finally, Mr. President, we encourage the Council and its member to closely monitor the progress made in implementing recommendations and to develop a concrete and measurable follow-up mechanisms to the UPR review process. Thank you, Mr. President.